Hyda Heyes Ruth Madak was a force to be reckoned with during the Calendar Girls shoot in the real full Monty, as she happily bared all with a pair of pineapples. Ruth saw the array of fruit in front of her and so, in her excitement, happily got her boobs out, nipples and all, to try out the best items to show herself off. The real full Monty, ladies' night shows loose Lady Colleen getting her kit off alongside the likes of Meghan McKenna, Michelle Heaton and Sarah Jane Crawford all in the name of a great cause. Putting body issues and nerves aside, the ladies will put on a show-stopping performance hot on the heels of a male version of the show, which will air on ITV the night before. Ahead of the live show, we take a look at the star-studded lineup as they brace themselves for nudity with a Calendar Girls-inspired shoot. Breast cancer is a cause close to Colleen's heart. Having lost her sister Bernie to the disease in 2013 and whose other sister was Linda was given a terminal diagnosis earlier this year. Speaking ahead of her full Monty turn, Colleen told the Radio Times she was scared stiff of what she's signed up for. Although I am terrified about what I've let myself in for, considering I want to even wear a bikini on the beach let alone get my kit off in front of 2,500 people and millions at home, but getting women to talk about breast cancer checks is way more important than any body hang-ups or nerves I've got. We are determined to give the audience a show they will never forget and hopefully raise awareness that could help save lives, she added. Michelle Heaton 38, was also determined to take part having undergone a preventive double mastectomy herself back in 2012 after she was diagnosed with the BRCA2 gene. Similarly, presenter Victoria Derbyshire, 49, was also keep to get involved, despite her fears, after being diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015. I'm apprehensive. Of course I am. I'm not ashamed of how I look, but I do look different to other women and the idea of revealing that is absolutely nerve-wracking, she told the Radio Times.